Ready, set, go. Welcome to Monster Road Trip. Um, Connor, do you want to stream it to us in the Discord as well? Oh, yes. I knew I was missing so something. So you can see things in real time? <laughs> no. Hang on. No, I don't want to watch things with the YouTube lag. No, no offense. All of the uh, videos will be screens. set like half an hour apart. It's really long, too. Okay. Like, the, the lag is so far. Yeah. YouTube don't go. have a low latency player. There we go. Oh, I love all right. the art style of these games. So now we get to wait and see the internet ah, up to let me watch the stream. Okay. Welcome to Monster Road Trip Here we go. Dating Sim. You're on the road. Everyone's a monster. And everyone's interested in dating other yeah. monsters. Oh, and ev ev monsters. everyone everyone could be interested in anyone. I just remembered that this is a dating sim. Yes, it is. I'm trying yeah, to decide. That's really all you food. need to know. It's, uh, Katie, it's a lot about fucking and not a lot about romance. I know, I love it. There's so much sex. The most romantic these are... thing that happens in this. Dream, bro. I'm trying to turn these my are... trauma into Dahlia, okay? Yeah. I'm trying to turn my trauma into humor. Please laugh. These are at best <laughs> summer flings. All right, let's get let's get going. Do you oh. want to hear awesome voice effects, or we're gonna make our own voices? Yeah, Thank yeah, you very yeah, much. Yeah, we are. Oh, Katie, Janet's the name, yeah. by the way. So the rest of us are playing. Sensational. How many of us do we want to actually do? I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's five of us, so if Janet's narrating, that means all four of us can play. True. <laughs> but the game is so long, so if we do two players, we'll do teams. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I I pick Kim. Okay, I pick Okay, Katie. so that means... Yeah, dream So then baby. it's me and Bonk. Dream uh, share a controller. Oh, there's a controller aspect to this? But yeah. Oh dear, this is new. It's... Play with no, that was what we did for... Failure. That was what we did for camp as well. Okay, play with your friends without anyone ending up with a failure or an MVP ending. No pressure. Road tripper. This is the true experience. I want including everyone a player. to win. I, I, I want there the, to be the chance of failing horribly. Because I think that's entertaining. There's and some competition is, involved. Katie. And it is one of yeah. the important parts of this game. Yes. Oh boy. Resources? Oh my god. This oh, game is so we have to harder. worry about resource oh, management? You know. It's not just a dating sim, you guys. Please, Shit. no. Focus well, on the narrative I'm actually and take... quite glad that I'm not playing right now. Please We're going it. normal mode. Oh my god! I can't wait to just. We're getting the so standard I experience. I should have start. I should have at least clicked and seen what the game <laughs> is. Oh, nah, cool. nah, that's not how we do things around here. We we're playing the feud. We fly and we're doing it live. Let's do it. No, let's do it. I'm down. I'm down. The chaos. Let's begin. Take it away. Dude. All right. Janet, you got this. All right. Ah, the road. That mythical beast of asphalt. We once tamed it in what became one of the strangest, most wonderful journeys of our lives. Back then, when we were young and unafraid. Summer was coming to an end when Polly and Scott planned a road trip. I am young and very much afraid regardless, so... With Polly and Scott, yes. The That's whole thing was fair. bound to go off the rails. This was the Prank Masters, after all. Ah, yes. Yeah, spelled with a Z. Oh, yeah. they're cool. Yeah. Cooler that way. Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And Polly Geist, 22? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all of the wrong things. Each of them were, by themselves, an agent of chaos. <laughs> but together, together they were the perfect combo for hijinks to ensue. Who in their right mind would have agreed to join them on such a trip? Who are you? Well, well, let's find out. Oh, jeez. Who the hell is this? 
We want to be Mothman. I want to be Mothman. <laughs> no. Kim and I both Dibs want to be Mothman. Dibs on Mothman. No, no too Dibs late. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Katie, there's also Kids, Juan the quiet small down. Latino ca magical cat. I'm sorry, fucking what? Juan the small Latino magical cat. May I see the small the Latino cow? magical cat, please? Is that That's this? Oh my god. He's a bird. <laughs> he sounds like this. Okay, whatever you We'll say. decide what he sounds like. Oh no, I know what he sounds like. I've been doing this voice for years. Kim is the only okay. one allowed to voice Juan. You wanna fight about it, bitch? Kim, Kim or or Katie, are you? Can I see Mothman? Are you still? Let's see, Mothman. see Mothman. Mothman's so cute. Oh, but Juan. Mothman is very good. I want Mothman. Please, Juan's I want so Mothman. Buff. Let's 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 let them have Mothman, and we can be Juan. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. So with I am that. going to click on Mothman first. Uh. Their name is Hazel. Wait. Or cinnamon. Or cinnamon. Oh my god. Uh, no. Today our name is Conk. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Actually, no. All caps. Conk. Conk Bonner. No, not Bonner. I don't think Bonner would oh. fit. And we'll oh, stick with they. Although yes. Bonner should be your guys' ship name. Juan. Sure. Juan. 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 Are you sticking with the name Juan? Yes. I think we have to. <laughs> I think we have to. Are you keeping the he, he, him pronouns? Or are you switching to they? I think we could do they because there's two yeah. of us. Yeah. That's our compromise. Okay. That's how you know it. They as a, also they as a collective. They occasionally. That is that also is true. true. Yes. I mean, I yeah, always. Kind of, okay. But... We've, we have. Kim's yeah. been known to dabble in a recreational they. I've got I've got duo pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my name in the fucking group chat for D and D to. I'm not a practicing. <laughs> I'm really more of a cultural they than a practicing one. <laughs> I love that. Uh, okay, Desert Vibes, Tropical Rave, Lo-Fi Beats. I like Lo-Fi Beats, but we can also go Surf Rock. Uh, lo-Fi Beats much for Live to Study too. One at a time. I vote Lo-Fi. I also vote Lo-Fi. Okay. okay. I'm a whore for Lo-Fi. All... I'm always a whore for Lo-Fi. Okay, so we just a right bunch of lo-fi slots. For lo -fi. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright. So oh, oh, we look oh. sensational. We look beautiful. <laughs> was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yes. This is the thumbnail. I feel like this is the thumbnail. I feel like this is this is a really like good from right to left, just a spectrum of of gender, really. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. You know? Every friend group should include <laughs> a mean a exactly. no cat, an even mean a lesbian, <laughs> he theys and she theys. I've caught a cranko. Mothman. I caught a little Gender chef. is a mothman. Gender is mothman. Cat. I see cat. Yeah. I've got YouTube on my second screen so I can see. Nice. Was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yes. Was it poorly planned? Yes. Did we do it anyway? Fuck yes. That is how you do a road trip. Honestly, that was the description of this making this video. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, for in the end, we were young and unafraid. I cannot stress enough, I'm very afraid. I'm no longer afraid with one. No, but we are ready to start. Afraid. Ooh, mm, driving is so oh. relaxing. Is that what we sound type, like? Type, magic, mind, money, soul, and stamina. Ooh. All right, these okay. are the stats for the day. All right, Bonk. Mm, we're looking at fancy motel for the discerning overnight guest, or the animal sanctuary. Oh, you a safe know haven. exactly what <laughs> I want to do. I know exactly what we're going to do. Mothman is going to the animal sanctuary. Yeah, I'm gonna go pet a bird. Uh, I stole oh. a peacock. Janet, have you noticed the um, Miranda's family is Mount Rushmore in the top left corner? No. Yeah, you should. When, we'll, when we come we'll get out of, to when it. We come out of this, you'll see it. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, Janet. Welcome to the animal sanctuary. It even has a petting zoo. 
There are dogs, cats, goats, bunnies, alpacas, ducklings. Mm, just it five warms your heart seconds. To see so many animals being <laughs> loved and cared for. Surrounded by all this wholesomeness and fur, what do you want to do? Polly, I have a question. Oh. Oh, geez, I just... The voice of Aaron Hansen. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh... I can do, I can do Scott. I feel like I've got a handle on that voice. Go for it. Ahem. <clears throat> Polly, I've been meaning to ask you, how, how do you road trip? It's okay, Scott. Can I do Polly? Go for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> There's no shame in asking, Scott. Let me explain. All of us will share six essential resources and we need to manage them wisely to keep this trip afloat. So we need to be careful because the choices we make during the trip can affect these resources. And if one of them depletes completely, we can kiss this road trip goodbye. I am loving Scott's bug-eyed <laughs> stare. This man has <laughs> look like goblin. This man I'm has not say, had a man. single thought in his life. I was gonna Jenny, say, we oh, have a Scott now. Man we might can... be a werewolf, but he's an orange cat on the inside. There really is. <laughs> It's just like every time he makes that face, just like womp, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get it. So our goal is to avoid running out of any resource and keep road tripping forever. No, no. The goal is to reach one of the six destinations every road trip leads to. Okay. I have this travel guide that explains how each destination requires us to hoard a different resource. Oh. You can check said guide whenever you want. Oh, thank God. Click on the destination tab to the right or press E on the keyboard or LB on the controller. Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh. 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 So it works about as well as about as It clicks. Uh, pretty much the same as as it did before. Okay, how do I get out what of here? Are, what, what are we there we collecting? go. You know, when they said resources, I was like, fuck, so I gotta collect things. sticks on the side of the road. Yeah. Thank God it's like stats. <laughs> yeah. Enough exposition, narrator voice inside our heads. Yeah. We get it. Keep our resources far above zero and hoard enough of one resource to reach a destination. Let's go. So there is punishment okay. if you do reach zero. Like, Yes. Okay. So that's that's interesting. Okay, that's new. Pet animals volunteer with the rescued animals or cat cafe. Mm, I made the choice the first time. Which one do you want to do? Um, I'm kind. Of, man, I don't know. This is a tough choice. I feel like volunteering might be the best route. I'm between volunteer or cat cafe. <laughs> Same. Mm, let's do volunteer. Okay. You're checking the place out, booping snoots with all sorts of cute critters, when you run into a familiar face. Oh. <gasps> yes. One of the witches. Yo. Uh, oh, sure. Kim, you want this one? For him. Um. Oh, hey, are you guys volunteering at the Sanctuary 2? Hello! <laughs> Hi, Faith! We'd love to. Do you have animals who could use some volunteering slash friendship? Sure. Why don't you spend time with Old Major? He's getting up there in years and could use the exercise. Old Major. Oh. Woof, woof, woof. Woo! -hoo. I love you, Old Major. Let's play fetch. Well, last one to the dog park has to throw the frisbee. Polly, you can brush Annie the alpaca if you want. She's a very sweet girl. Mama like it. I'd rather brush your alpaca if you know what I mean. All right. <laughs> no idea what you mean, honestly, but I'm going to guess it's a sex thing. It usually is a sex thing with you. Mm. You betcha. Well, I'm kind of working right now, but maybe we can brush alpacas when I go on break. Nice! <laughs> Fuck yeah, boo. Text me when you're free. Wow. And you, Kong, what if you hang out with uh, Colonel Grumpo? 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 <laughs> Grumpo? 
<laughs> oh no! Oh my god. Oh, I god. love it. He's so ugly. Oh, I love him. Faithfully accurate biggest cat. Colonel Grumpo. Grumpiest cat you've ever seen. If cats had phalanges, yeah. this one would definitely be giving you the finger. Oh, I love him. Colonel Grumpo was rescued from a really bad situation. He was trouble tr he has trouble trusting monsters, but I promise there is a sweet boy under all that radiating hate. Have fun! I don't even see hatred necessarily. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. He's I was giving me the shocked. I'm really glad I wasn't taking a drink that I <laughs> He's giving Great. me the rock eyebrow raise. Yeah. Great. Scott gets to play fetch and Polly's having car sex while you're stuck with the world's meanest cat. Well, maybe maybe it'll all be okay. Fuck you, narrator. Oh. Wait, did Colonel Grumpo just steal your wallet? How? What? You didn't even see him move! No! Is this what we get for volunteering? You'd, you'd better get on this cat's good size before he does something worse. Okay. All right. So this cat obviously lost faith in people due to Monster Kind's inevitable descent into idiocy. Show you, show him there's still hope by showing after extensive classic literature knowledge, or show Colonel Grumpo you're the real deal by giving him what all cat cats want most: the chance to drive a Ferrari. <sighs> mm. Oh, this is a this is a tough choice. This is, I'm leaning towards the extensive classic literature knowledge. I am also, yeah, because who does yeah. not have a fucking Ferrari? Ooh, I, uh, yeah, okay. Good thing you packed some books. You read Plato's The Republic to Colonel Grumpo. Okay, all right, sure. A few hours later, Colonel Grumpo doesn't look any happier, and now Polly and Faith have returned. Okay. Punk, why are you reading to Colonel Grumpo? Cats don't like to read, nor can they read. And being reminded of that just annoys them. Okay, <laughs> well. Look at him. It's obvious he's angry about that. Is it obvious? <laughs> is it, is it? I don't think there's much of anything going on on that face there. Thanks to the magic oh. of video games, we can now actually know what's going on inside Colonel Grumpo's head. Okay. Wait, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Okay. Yeah, no, Bonk's got this. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, that sounds um, about right. Accurate. Now, yeah. Faith, you've got it wrong. We just need to find the right book for Colonel Grumpo. His face conveys an interest in finding a literary genre that ignites his passion for books. Exactly. Not everyone can just jump into the Republic. Look at him. I think it's obvious. No. No. <laughs> what if Colonel Grumpo is actually upset because we're assuming what he thinks without even asking? Mmm. Yes. He's probably angry because of that. Sorry, Colonel Grumpo. No. 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 Okay, are we actually going to end up getting on this cat's good side? I think so. No, you must ignore them both. You can't stop. You're building a connection with Colonel Grandpa. You can feel it. I can feel it. Oh. <laughs> Play those ideas on an ideal government really make you think. I'm happy that someone finally read it to me, for I am a cat and I can't read. <laughs> I guess we must accept we might never know what goes on inside Colonel Grandpa's head. And that's okay. No, <laughs> you know you got to Colonel Grandpa. Even if it was at the cost of two hype out of being a big nerd, you gain two soul from this selfless act. Yeah, I feel like we're going to be losing a lot of hype if, oh, if hype right. is referring to just, like, public coolness. Yeah, probably. None of us are particularly cool. All right, Juan. All right, so, Kim, what we have to do now is we have to give away our soul, because that's what they've started building. Okay. <laughs> No, okay. you guys are all sharing. Look. Uh, oh, oh, true, 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 true. Do true. you want? 
So you have to Do decide, you want to go? You have to decide what you want your destination to be because you're right. all sharing. Yeah. So True. we have to work on our hype as we have to work on our hype then and bring that back up. But also no, you, you have to hoard one. You have to pick but one. We also to hoard. have to not lose. I, I feel like it's going to be I I feel like you're going to always lose one, you're always going to win one. Like, like that's yeah. that's the vibe. Yeah, you I just have it. to pick one. You got a min max. Yeah, exactly. So I feel oh, like good at that. Just ask Chris. Okay. What are our nice. options? Nice. Yeah, what are our options? You have used car dealership, miles of smiles, yeah. or a lake. Okay. Let's so get wet. Let's get wet. Like let's the lake. get wet. That's what we're let's gonna have get to do. get hyped. Wow. So let's go. Look, that cloud looks like a plane. That that is a plane. Oh. On a hot, sunny day like this, a lake visit is the perfect way to beat the heat. A sight to behold. It's also the perfect place <laughs> to see your hot friends in swimsuits. We are beautiful. We are not so gorgeous. That you were fantasizing about that this whole time. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> Good coffee. Anyway, what do you want to do now that you're here? <laughs> oh. Whoa, I can Let's choose an action and make an event happen. <laughs> Yes, I'm ready for all the randomness these events involve. Actually, Polly, I was checking this travel guide, and it seems they aren't so random after all. Look, these different signs apparently refer to different types of events. The most common type of events are called exchange events. After making a choice in those, you'll always lose a resource and gain a resource no matter what. Uh, okay. The trick is making the right choice, since that'll decide which resources are gained and lost. But if there's a resource sign next to the event type sign, that's called a known resource. It means that the resource is guaranteed to be affected no matter what our choice is. If the sign is positive, then the resource is guaranteed to be gained. If it's negative, then you know you'll lose it. Like, for example, if we see an action with this sign, we know we'll lose money here. Our choice will only determine which resource we'll gain. That's not bad. If we know losing or gaining a resource is unavoidable, we can be strategic about it. This all sounds very useful, but also, like, too much pressure for fan-favorite Polly to keep track of. <laughs> Juan, can we leave these decisions to you? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Scott is right, so what... intelligent there. Just really, really just... He got the brain cell for a minute. He got the brain cell yeah. for a minute. Okay, so let's look at these uh, statistics here. Swimming, sandcastles, seashells. Okay, so these are all relatively positive no matter what we do, but... I say we go swimming. Lose some. I, I like swimming. Swimming or sandcastles both look good to me. Um, you know what? I think swimming's a good idea, too. Getting let's wet. Go. Let's, let's... Let's get swimming. Wet. Let's get wet. Let's get wet. Yeah. Jenna. You're about to get in the water when a loud whistle stops you in your tracks. It's the lifeguards. It's is the it, beach feds. Is it the same ones? Yes. The gargoyles. <laughs> the fucking feds. Yes. Oh, they're stoners, dude. Go ahead. Hey, long time no see. What brings you guys to the lake? We wanted to go swimming. You can do that at a lake, right? You sure can, brah. But only if you know how to swim safely. Huh. Okay, how do we do that? Uh, Is it a good time to mention I don't remember how to swim? <laughs> Damn, dude. We, we totally forgot. Anyone got any ideas? Hmm. I know you shouldn't eat beforehand. Move your arms and legs around. Avoid wearing heavy stuff that'll drag you down like metal or stone. <laughs> oh, balls. I'm totally made of stone. Do you think that's why I lost my last job as a lifeguard? That makes sense. It must be why I got fired too. I'm usually pretty stoned. But you guys aren't made of stone or metal, so you're safe, I think. Have fun out there. Huh? Are you sure that's all it takes? You haven't told us any actual tips on swimming safely yet. Uh, fair enough. 
If you're nervous, I'm sure I've got something in my lifeguard bag that'll help you swim. Huh? But then again, I also have a lot of random shit in here. Does any of this crap seem helpful for swimming, Juan? Uh, the very small and intense swimming instructor that's as harsh as he is, Kawaii. Yes. Uh, life insurance, life insurance, just in case, or the pair of bright arcane armbands that allow their user to cast a forbidden floating spell. I think we can both agree that there's only one correct choice here. <laughs> Kim? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, it's, it, no, it's the swimming instructor. It's the swimming yeah, instructor. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's, it's yeah. a sick otter. I feel yeah. like this could go bad, but I feel like it's the only right way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, he's so cute. How harsh can one little otter be? You yeah. think that they can't be harsh and cute at the same time? The instructor barked. I contain multitudes, rookie. Oh, sure, you have tough I can be. Amazing. <laughs> this, this I was gonna ask, for us. even if they had a different, like, character thing for this for this, I would have asked you to voice the, the otter anyway. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, the swimming lessons are intense. You practice kicking, paddling, diving, washing the sensei's car, peeling potatoes. Oh. Okay, not to be that girl, but I don't see how preparing lunch is gonna help with swimming. Don't question me, rookie. Potato peeling is the only way to train your body for the water. The repetitive peeling motions strengthen your palms and phalanges so you can carve a path through even the toughest rip tides. Why does he have an accent? I know, suddenly become, like, Irish. <laughs> it's not it's Irish, amazing. but, like... Katie? <laughs> Fair enough, but what about the car washing thing? How will that help us swim? Um... Okay, I admit that was just me taking advantage of you. But do you know how hard it is to wash your dirty car when you're bare two feet tall? Damn it. Uh, you lose- <laughs> Sorry, I was like, oh, that's not the otter, I don't have to talk. So <laughs> 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 quickly I became the otter. You're still on set! <laughs> I was like, how you still picked a character that fucks up your voice. No, yeah. Damien isn't here. Of course, it's monster prom. If I if I can talk afterwards, I'm not doing it right. Um, anyway, you lose two stamina training, but you finally start swimming. It's super easy. Who knew swimming had so much in common with peeling potatoes? Nobody, probably, because it makes no sense. But here you are. Excellent work, pupils. The instructor says, "I can finally retire, knowing that I've molded you sad sacks into space." Hmm. Having some million, well, dude. You want a snack before I put you back in your travel cage for nappies? Yes. I request a cup of warm milk and possibly a bedtime story before I return to my slumber. This is just Janet breaking character. <laughs> yes. It is, honestly. Yes. Also, Janet, I need you to know, I'm getting cat easy vibes. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what this is giving. <laughs> Hell yes. Janet. Uh, can do. You put your instructor to bed and gain two hypes swimming in the lake. Oh, nice. This seat yeah. is comfy. Yeah. So you guys, All right. Has to be stamina, and we have. Yeah. To... I'm gonna do a quick YouTube outro before we ca carry on, though. No. So. Oh shit. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. I guess we're carrying on. Uh. Nah, uh, nope. if you're watching live or on the VOD, uh, thanks for being here. Um, if you have not subscribed, that'd be great if you did that. Like, comment, um, and subscribe. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the things to say at this point. Yep. So, thanks. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. And I usually like to leave like 20 seconds of the background music. Although we can, for this one, we can talk awkwardly while it happens. What if we talk non awkwardly instead? We just have conversation like normal people. Yeah. Then I might have to end the video. Oh, okay.